Hi crafters, it's Karen. So I'm getting ready to do the first layout that I've done in like seriously months. It's ridiculous. And I'm getting waves of anxiety and I don't know where it is coming from. And that's part of what's been keeping me from coming in here. I've just been, I've had a problem with anxiety lately and um, you know, <laughs> so I've just, I thought I thought I would do this layout in real time with you all and maybe that will help me to just do it. You know, just just do it. So I'm scrapbooking these pictures. These are from like three years ago maybe. Uh, we had taken a trip to Georgia. I think these are from Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. And, um, whoops, sorry for the glare. And uh, we went to my um, my husband's niece's uh, graduation and we spent the weekend. So these are just pictures that need to be documented. Um, this is a memory that needs to be documented, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using the Open Book Collection from Crate Paper. I love this. It's an old favorite. And let's face it, Crate Paper is easy to use with all the different prints and color tones and the different embellishments that you can get to go with. So um, I have the sticker set. So I'm going to use those. I have other random embellishments as well and I'll share those as I pick them up to use them. I also have a couple of the ephemera packs. Um, I have this ephemera pack and I have the uh, vellum and gold foil ephemera pack. So I'm going to just do this and you're going to sit with me for moral support. <laughs> That's what I feel like I need. I don't know what is going on. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I cut a quarter of an inch off and then I cut it in half. See, this is how um, the paper was. And then I cut, like, I think this is five inches. And I decided to use both patterns and create a little gap in the center. And this is basically what the layout's going to be. Nothing super fancy <laughs> and complicated, but I think it'll be... It'll be sweet if I can get it from my head to my hands to the paper. We'll see. So let's just let's just see if we can't make this happen. I don't know why I've been having problems with anxiety lately, but um, but yeah, it's been kind of an issue. Joe, it is finally back at work um, after his arm surgery. And uh, there's a big change in his in his job right now that um, can or cannot be stressful. I think it's stressful for him, but um, but I think all in all, he's glad to be back working. So I'm just trying to find my routine again. You know, after having him home. I mean, um, he was home for a long time, but then my mother-in-law became ill. That was back in October. And my stepdaughter was here with her son for um, about a month. And that really, spending time with my grandson, that really kept me out of here. And then, you know, just daily life kind of steals your routine and brings you to something else and that's basically what the deal is there's nothing there's nothing um major event going on right now um i i one thing that has made me feel stressed lately is that i have to find a new urologist i have my first appointment with him next week and um, the urologist that I've had for the last 30-odd years 
is taking a leave of absence. And, I mean, I've had, he's been my urologist. He's the one who first told me that I only had one kidney. I mean, he's been with me through the long haul. And you know what it's like to have a doctor who you trust, and the doctor trusts you as far as when you tell him what you're feeling and this and that. You know, it's a relation, it's a, it's a relationship. And um, when you have a doctor that you have to work with so closely, as I do with my urologist. So that's kind of stressful for me, um, you know, because I have issues with my kidney that, you know, might be serious in the future. Right now, things are fine. I have the stent in my kidney still, and I know that needs to be switched out within the next month. Is that too bright? Should I, um, let's see, should I turn off this light? Is that better? So anyway, I know that within the next month I'll probably have to go in for the procedure to have my kidney stent switched out um, for like the, I think, fourth time. And that's not necessarily a big deal for me. Although it's a new doctor, so that's what makes it a big deal for me. But other than that, other than that, I don't have, there's no real issue that's keeping me from my scrap room. So that's going to be the basic layout. Let me move this down a little bit. So that's going to be the basic layout. I'm keeping those, and then this is a group photo of the family, so keep it there. So there's nothing you know, really going on that's keeping me out of my scrap room. It's just, you know, you get out of the sink and I want, I want so much to get it back. Okay, so my dilemma is if I should mat these photos, I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to put these down and maybe put some ephemera, mat, mat them with ephemera rather than, um, a mat and I will mat this photo because it is the you know highlight photo so I think that's what I'm going to do so um, let's see see I, this is so I hate that this has become so foreign to me that I don't know what to grab first you know you it's like you almost lo lose your creative instinct ooh that's nice <laughs> I think I'll do that. Can you even see? So I'll do that. So it's frustrating for me. And it's gotten to the point where it's, you know, making me sad. Because working in here, creating and the mixed, mixed media and the scrapbooking and stuff, that's, this is how I relax. So if you're feeling anxiety, because you've forgotten how to do the thing that makes you relax. I mean, yeah, that's a that's frustrating. So that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, so that's good. This is what I'm picking from the ephemera pack. So I'm just going to make it real easy on myself and Let's see, I could probably use this frame. I'm going to make it easy on myself and just use ephemera, stickers, and just work layers and nothing fancy here. But this is, oh, I like that touch of gold foil. There's all kinds of sweet little pieces, so I really better not, I don't want to think about it too much. I just want to do what's cute, you know, do, do what feels right and try to get that, that, you know, that creative instinct back. You know what I'm saying. Let's see, all kinds of tabs. There's a nice... Ampersand. I don't know. 
this ephemera is so cute. Mm. This has City Park Festival. That might, might be applicable because we went, we were at a farmer's market. I think it was Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. It might have been Savannah. It's horrible that I can't even remember that. But there you go. So I'm just going to pick through these pieces. That says lovely. That'll work. Let's get down to some of these gold pieces. Mm. Might be a little too too much. Let's see. All right. I also cut some pieces from the um, from one of the cut apart sheets to work with this. So let's see if we can't. Oh, my scissors. I'm gonna cut this in half. But if I just get this one down. I'm going to use the line on, on this grid paper as a guide. My glue didn't harden up in that <laughs> in that bottle. I was happy about that. That's a good glue. If you can put your glue in the um in that fine tip bottle and after a couple of months or more than a couple of months it not go um what do you call it? It not dry up, then that's a good bottle, that fine tip bottle. So I'm just going to put some flowers around here. When in doubt, add flowers because these are all outdoor photos. So I think that'll work. Why not? I think maybe I won't adhere the edges in case I want to tuck something in after. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And the sad part is, I, you know, I also was getting anxiety about filming, which is ridiculous because that's never happened to me before. I mean, I've always been excited to share layouts and projects and this and that, and then, yeah, anxiety. Not fun. And it just, it just doesn't make sense. The things that you feel anxious about like just everyday things well I got that crooked but that's all right <laughs> let's see oh 
the glue is coming off in the middle. Maybe I should get a new one. Do you see that? It seeped out the sides. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want it to um, smear on the photo. So I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'm going to put that in there. that maybe a bunny would look cute I don't know <laughs> okay let's leave the top for a minute and work on matting this photo I have the six by six paper pad here so there are a lot of different colors the red of the pocketbook is prominent so is the orange of junior shirt and of course there's earth tones in there with the green so, let's see, something that would work. You know, I'm going to start with a, um, the polka dot. And then maybe this red. See, I just want to, I don't want to think too much about it because that is what is making me crazy. I'm thinking thinking too much. So let's just mat this photo. I'm gonna give it like a tight a tight mat. Try to make it so that the pocket polka dots do show. I'm gonna use my trimmer, but I'm using it over here. Work or is that too bright? I, could, I think I could do a thin mat with that red. It'll work. I love this collection. that but I want to get an earth tone underneath to pull it back to the colors of the top photos there so let's see if maybe this gold is too gold would that work let's see is that too mustardy let's see it's a possibility <laughs> let's keep working it those flowers are nice but I don't think you'll be able to tell there. No, that'll work. I'm going to go with the flowers. I don't know if after I use them to for a mat, you'll be able to tell they're flowers. But it will have the colors that I'm wanting to um, highlight in it. So that... Wraps. I'm sorry, I normally do do my cutting. I put the, my, um, my cutter 
I usually do put it on my lap for some reason. I'm, I don't know. It's just more comfortable to me. But there's that. Okay. So I wonder if I should put this on Pop Dots. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's use this. Is from Scrappy. Oh, that's not it. Let's see. Okay, I hope you don't mind my doing this in real time. I think it kind of helps me to feel like... um. We're scrapbooking together, making these creative choices together. It and it helps me to just don't overthink it. Just you know, just do it. There. That's enough. Now the fun part. Taking the backing off of these things. Such a pain in the neck. So I've been watching a lot of different videos like Valentine's um, card videos and I've been watching Luisa Diaz's um, Valentine series and all these cutesy, really sweet things that everybody's doing for Valentine's Day, and I just love it. I love it. That's um, I'm I find it hard to um to do things to to scrapbook and themes like that, or to create those types of projects, you know, lately. But um, I love watching. The beautiful things that everybody's been creating. I watched um, Becky, uh, Aunt Beck's creations. She was playing with her paints earlier, or was it yesterday? I can't even remember, and I enjoyed that. I love watching her videos. She has a calming way about her. And, uh, and then I've been watching non-scrapbook videos. As well. Let's see. Should I add that or does that? Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Let's pull out some. More ephemera, I guess. I actually could leave it the way it is. And just slap a title on it. Let's see. Let's go back. Oh, you know what? Let's play with our stickers. <laughs> We're going to cut this one. the other side there.
What does this mean? Or what does this need? Let's see. Take the gold center off the tag and use it over here for an embellishment. That might be cute. Let's get some string. We're getting ready to call this one done. <laughs> now that I got my feet wet a little bit. Whoops. So tell me in the comments if you guys watch other videos on YouTube rather than scrapbooking or, you know, crafty videos. Is there anybody else that you follow? Like, um, like um, a lot of people enjoy Casey Nas Nasdaq, or I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but he's a vlogger. Um, I've been watching... His name is Peter Mon. He's funny lately. And he just, I don't know, he's just funny. He comments about, you know, booty, beauty gurus or something. I don't know. It's just other things that I've found on YouTube that I've enjoyed. Look at, I spoke too soon about this glue. It's, it's leaking now. At least it's not dried up. But it is leaking now. Oh, look at that. Don't you hate that? You see that? All that glue puddled up. Annoying. Thank goodness this is Scotch Quick Dry in my bottle, so it will dry clear, but still annoying. Let's get another heart for this side. Okay, there's that. Um, what else? I guess I could use some of memories documented. I love these little word stickers. They're very, uh, they're very, they come in handy here. I'm sorry. I don't even know if I'm doing a good job of, if you're seeing everything. But, but y'all are helping me out, so I guess this is a, like a selfish video. Because I knew if I got you here with me, I would get this done. Memories documented. Let's see, what else? Hmm. That deer is sweet, but I don't know if it would be applicable to this layout or this story. Let's see. I'm not going to journal right away because I need to, I'm pretty sure it's downtown, downtown Atlanta. I also drew, pulled these gold butterflies from my stash from Recollections and this from Hobby Lobby. It's from Momenta and they're just, you know, random embellishments and assortment of embellishments in here which I really like, and I think these colors would work real well, so I'm going to use one of these for um, a title, I think. I'm going to go easy on myself. Okay, this is made out of, like, canvas, and it says, love this. That's awesome. Let's stick that here. <laughs> Let's put that there. Um...
what else, what else, together. I think that's one that could be on the photo itself, in the trees. Um, let's see, this is an outside photo here, these two outdoors, the bench and the fountain. So I feel like a little natural element like cork might be just the ticket. So I'm going to wish I put that up or I think I'll put it here amongst the leaves and maybe a little arrow there. Yeah, this wooden arrow. To go across those. And what else? Hmm. And I think I'll use this happy life. Is that kind of silly? No. It's not silly. I'm going to use that as my title. Should I put it there? Now you did it. You stuck it on the thing. Okay. I'm going to put it here. That's better. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Should, should I do a splatter? I haven't done a splatter in a long time. Let's do a splatter. Let's use our recollections and see if we can't <laughs> mess this up. Let's cover up our photos. The, the main part of our photos. There. This is gold recollections, um, gold, yes. And the sprayers doesn't work real well, but if I remember correctly, I used to do this. <laughs> uh, so sad. But so much fun. And very relaxing. So I think... After I call this done, I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea or maybe a pot of coffee. Come back in here and keep it going. What do you think? Yes. Yes, Karen. Keep it going. Ta-da! My first layout in months and months and months. And I'm happy with it. Ugh. I hope this doesn't clog. See, it's coming out in the thing. What do you call that? Between the needle and the and the thing, I might have to... Aw, oh, shucks. I might have to run to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Get me a new one. But I think I should uh, before that becomes a real issue. But anyway. But anyway, there it is. My first layout. In months and months. I like it. I'm happy with myself. Thank you all so much for sitting with me and and taking me through this. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for the company. I will keep it going. I'm going to go make my tea and come back in here. I got a lot of pictures um, developed. And um, yes, I'm ready to keep it going. So thanks so much. Bye-bye now.